So, in today's video, I want to talk about snooker glasses and correcting your vision. So, this is something I'm doing with players all the time. I'll see players when I'm working with them on the table, and we'll sometimes identify a problem where we can see that they're having problems maybe hitting the centre of the cue ball, or they may have problems sighting longer range shots. So, it's very important that we get our vision correct when we're playing snooker. Now, it's so important that I find it interesting that lots of players are interested in what chalk they use, what tip they're using on the end of the queue, what queue they're using, and lots of players overlook the fact that getting perfect vision and having better sight is absolutely crucial for playing better snooker. Why wouldn't you want your vision to be as good as it can possibly be? Now, the first thing to say about snooker glasses here, so I've got some snooker glasses here that Chris Cheshire from Snooker Specs has kindly uh, supplied to me. Now, the only reason I reached out to Chris from Snooker Specs was that I've got a few friends that play in the local league with me, and they actually use glasses that are supplied by Chris from Snooker Specs, um, and they can't speak highly enough of them. They use the glasses, their vision is much better, and they find them nice and lightweight. Um, so I reached out to Chris and said, would it be possible for you to supply me with a few pairs of glasses, and then I can make a video just explaining to people the benefits of these glasses and why they're a bit different to normal glasses. Now, one of the first things that I asked Chris when I was talking about vision correction was, would you use contact lenses or would you use snooker glasses? Now, what Chris explained to me is if you're somebody that uses contact lenses in day-to-day -day life, so you're wearing them all the time when you go about your daily activities, it's probably best that you stay using a contact lens for playing snooker. And that's because there's no distance between the contact lens and your eye. Whenever you use snooker glasses, like I've obviously got a pair here, you've got a bit of a distance between your actual eye and the lens of the glass itself, and that changes the size of the image slightly, which we'll talk about in a second. But of course, when you use contact lenses, you don't get that change in the image size. So if you're used to wearing contacts, they don't irritate your eyes, then probably the best method to go down is to carry on using contact lenses. Now, the reason for that, just like we talked about, is that when you use glasses, there's actually a bit of a gap between your eye and the actual lens. So what that means is that if you're short-sighted, the glasses will actually make the image that you see look slightly smaller, and if you're long-sighted, the glasses will make the image look a little bit larger than normal. Now, when you're used to wearing glasses day to day, that's exactly what your normal glasses are doing. And what your brain does is it just gets used to seeing a slightly larger or a slightly smaller image, and so it's no different when you then start to use snooker glasses. Your brain is already accustomed to seeing a slightly different image size. So if you're somebody that wears contacts, you're not used to that different image size. Because the lens is right up against your eye, you see the same image size that you would see without any correction. But if you're somebody that wears glasses, snooker glasses are the way to go because your brain is already accustomed and adjusted to seeing that slightly different image size. Okay, now let's look at some key reasons why you can't really just use a normal pair of glasses and you need to see a specialist like snooker specs so that you can get some snooker glasses set up for you so that you get the absolute perfect vision down on the shot. So the first thing that's going to make a really big difference is when you wear glasses in day-to-day -day life, your head is nice and straight and you're just looking through the optimum point in the lens. So when people use normal lenses, the focal point on the lens is set up right in the middle of the lens so that your eye is looking through that perfectly central part of the lens and that corrects your vision and everything looks nice and clear to you. Now, the problem with wearing snooker glasses and when we're playing a sport like snooker, the difference is, is that we're looking at the table, but then once we get down to the table, we tilt our head and we, we pull our head back and then the angle of our eyes is different as it looks through these glasses. So what they do with these snooker glasses is the lenses are actually angled so that when you're down on the shot and you're in the address position and your head is tilted back, the lenses on the snooker glasses are optimised for you so that your eye is looking through the perfect optimal part of the lens so that you get excellent vision. Now, when you go to just a normal opticians, you'll find that they don't account for that head tilt. So you might find that when you first put the snooker glasses on and you're standing up, it looks like you've got perfect vision and you're very happy. As soon as you go down to the snooker club and you've got your head in that bit of a tilted position, you'll find that all of a sudden you won't get the perfect focus. You might even have some distortion on the balls and then you're going to be disappointed. So that's why it's very specialist in terms of setting up the snooker glasses so that it suits your game personally. And what Chris does at Snooker Specs is he will actually ask you for a picture of you down on the shot in your address position 
so he can see exactly where your eyes are pointing, where they're looking at, and then he can set your glasses up so that you look through the perfect optimal part of the lens that gives you that perfectly clear vision with no distortion. Okay, and now the second crucial thing that snooker specs will do differently to a normal opticians is that they will take your prescription and then they will adjust that prescription so that you've got perfect vision between three and 15 feet. Now that's important because that will give you good sighting when you're looking at the cue ball and then it will also give you perfect vision the length of the table. So the 15 feet there is basically the length of the table plus the length of your cue. So that's why they then adjust the prescription slightly, tweak it and set it up so that instead of having vision that would be good for your everyday life that your normal glasses might be set up for and the distances have got to be a bit longer, the snooker glasses are set up so that the vision is optimised so that it's very good for the length of a snooker table. So we've got perfect vision at the cue ball and we've got perfect vision on those long shots as well. Right, so on to the third key thing that's very important with these snooker glasses. Obviously you can see here I've got a range of different frames that are available so you can go on the website, have a look, there's all different frames available, different size lenses and it will all be customised to the individual player. But what all of these glasses have got in common here is that these lenses have actually got an anti-reflective coating on to stop the glare from the lights on the table. So obviously you can see here that I've got panels on my table here. So these lights may potentially reflect in the lenses and then you get a bit of a glare when you're down on the shot. But all these glasses are deliberately designed so that they've got that special anti-reflective coating and that stops any of that glare and makes sure that you've got that optimal vision again when you're down on the shot. Now the fourth important thing that snooker specs will do differently to a normal opticians is that they'll only ever use single vision lenses. So they won't use bifocal or varifocal lenses. Now the reason for that is if you do use those bifocal or varifocal lenses, it can actually distort the image when you're down on the shot. So it can make it much more difficult for you to judge and recognize your potting angles. And obviously in snooker, that's incredibly important. We don't want that image distortion. So it's very important that you only get these single vision lenses and that's always what you'll get when you get your glasses from snooker specs. Right, so finally, if you were interested in getting any snooker glasses, you can visit www.snookerspecs.com. You'll need to provide your prescription the distance between your two eyes, so it's very important that you know the distance between the one eye and the other one so you can set the glasses up perfectly. Your age is important if you can provide that, whether you're right or left handed. Um, your height is also useful and images, just like I said earlier, of you down on the shot in that address position. So that's very important so that you can see the angle of your head when you're down on the shot so that the glasses can be set up with that perfect tilt so that you're looking through the optimum part of the lens. Now, the higher your prescription, it's more important that you try and provide as much of that information as you possibly can, and then you'll be able to get your glasses set up perfectly customised for you, and hopefully that will give you that excellent vision. The last thing to say, this is not a sponsored video at all. The only reason I reached out to Chris at Snooker Specs was because I'm seeing players on the table all the time where they're maybe not finding the centre of the cue ball, struggling to see their long shots, and as I said earlier, we get, go to the trouble of getting all this equipment, the chalk, the cue, getting everything right, so why not correct your vision as well? So if you are interested, visit snookerspecs.com. You'll be able to get yourself some glasses, correct your vision. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.